friends let us take a look at this question so we have a clinical scenario based question here where we have a 5 year old girl who has always who needs to wear warm socks even in the summer season on physical examination it was noticed that she has high blood pressure and her femoral pulses are weak compared to the radial and carotid pulse chest radiography showed pigor of pre appearance and notching of inferior margin of ribs this was due to so the options that you have in this question are femoral artery thrombosis coarctation of aorta Raynaud's disease and Takayasu arthritis. Now, if you have already, you know, covered pediatric cardiology, uh, then you, I am sure, you'll be able to make out that the answer to this question is probably coarctation of aorta. Now, as soon as you uh, mark the answer to the question, be it coarctation of aorta or you mark any other option, what will happen is, you know, the important points in this case scenario which you need to keep in mind while answering this question will get immediately highlighted up. Like you see here, so what you can see is five-year-old girl is highlighted, pointing towards probably it is some congenital heart disease. There's warm socks even in summer season. That means in the lower limbs there is some problem, and she likes to keep her lower limbs warm in order to you know improve the perfusion. That could be one reason. Then she has high blood pressure, so hypertension is there. Femoral pulses are weak compared to radial and you know carotid pulse. That is also highlighted. So in coarctation of aorta, we know there's a narrowing of aorta because of which, you know, the upper limbs are getting proper blood supply, but the lower limb blood vessels, they will be getting lesser blood supply. So you can get weaker pulses in the lower limbs. And sometimes there can even be some radiofemoral delay and they can be absent or weak, you know, pulses in the lower limbs. Apart from that, what else is highlighted? You can see that the chest radiograph is showing figure of free appearance and notching of inferior margin of uh, ribs. So all these, you know, the notching of inferior margin of ribs and, you know, the figure of free appearance, both of them are very important chest x-ray findings that you see in coarctation of aorta. So you can see this is something known as active guidance. That is a very unique feature of the Preplada Question Bank 3.0. And you can see that, you know, in these clinical, most of the questions now are clinical scenario based. Okay. So the questions are reasonably, you know, uh, large questions, big questions. You have to read through them and you need to see the important information. Okay. Immediately, you need to make out what points you need to remember to answer this question. So in this question, you are getting the guidance. Once you've answered this question, you can see the important uh, points that you need to keep in mind to come to this answer are getting highlighted. So this will help you. To approach these kind of questions okay what else you have got a precise explanation okay you've got all the important points about coarctation of aorta being covered in the explanation not only this important information about other options like you know Raynaud's disease then Takayasu arteritis femoral artery thrombosis so important information about the other options which are incorrect are also covered in this question to give you a wholesome idea of the topic not only this, it has also been linked to the appropriate treasures or some very high yielding points that you cannot afford to not know. There are some high yielding information which have been asked various times in, you know, in previous years questions in different forms. So in this question, you can see the various important X-ray findings of important congenital heart diseases has been linked with this question. So on one click, you can go to the, you know, treasure which is linked to that question and you can, you know, revise your high yielding information along with it. Apart from that, if you know you have doubt about this topic, if you do not have your concept formed nicely, you can always with one click uh, move to the, you know, uh, it is linked to the corresponding video in which that particular topic has been explained in detail. So if you are in confusion, you can always go back and immediately look at that portion of the video which is pertaining to this particular topic relating to which this question you're solving is. Okay. So you can see so many various important features have been offered in this question bank 3.0. So this new question bank 3.0 is as good as it gets. So use it and I'm sure you'll, you know, see the results and come out with flying colors. All the very best for your exams.